This is group 4 presenting solar panels. Team members include Matt Flaza, Victoria Intelligator, Isha Pandey, David Wright, Jiaxuan Zhao. The problem we are trying to solve is that you are interested in receiving a summary of recent peer-reviewed research on solar panels and power generation. Recent news shows a growing green economy and solar panels might be the best option entry into the industry. We will show recent research and information from peer-reviewed articles to help guide in the decision-making process of entering the solar panel industry. As a team, we found many peer-reviewed articles throughout many databases provided by the university, and some of the main points came up throughout every research was that the market needs to continue growing since the United States is turning towards greener energy. Um, there's tons of tax incentives towards to move towards greener energy provided by the government, which is why a lot of people are going into the industry. There's also a falling price of materials, which is mainly silicone because it's the main component of uh, the panels used to capture solar energy. It's a valuable alternative to current fossil fuels because obviously it's not gonna it's not gonna run out. There's always gonna be solar power. And uh, another key point that came up was customers are saving money throughout just by switching towards solar energy. It's reducing costs all across the board, which is something that you should be interested in. And the last thing we found was that it's helping the environment. One plant in the south that we found is saving the release of 2.75 million tons of greenhouse gases. And these articles were mainly provided by. Man Annie Frischberg in 2013 and Brian Wheeler in 2011. Some more stuff that we found when we were researching was a market summary stating that the market size of the United States solar industry grew 34% from 8.6 billion in 2011 to 11.5 billion in 2012, not counting the billions of dollars in other economic benefits across states and communities. And that information is from the Solar Energy Industry Association. The other graph that we found summarizing this is that the major players in the United States is that there's two companies that control about 20%, which is the first Solar Inc. and Solar World AG. 80% of the United States companies are other smaller companies, which would probably include us or when we take over another company. And that is credit to the IBS World Solar Panel Manufacturing. In our research, we also found evidence of demand, uh, specifically the PV installation or photovoltaic uh, installation, which grew 76% in 2012, according to Solar Energy Industry Association. And there was an estimate uh, 400,000 operational solar projects by the end of 2013, as said by U.S. Uh, Energy Department. And as you can see on the graph here in charts, the state of California is the heavily most used of installations for solar energy because of the sunlight it has year-round, especially Arizona and even the more popular states, or populous states, excuse me, like New Jersey and New York, which has a large population of many people trying to shift over to a more reusable or a renewable energy source such as solar energy. In our research, we also found trends in the market, uh, specifically that some power has supply components for more than 10,000 U.S. homes and 4,000 built last year in California. Uh, as many as one in five homes actually built in that state will have solar power, according to Ju Justin Doom of Some Power. Uh, there is an increase in California, like I previously mentioned, because of the increase in population and how California is a very... Uh, sunny state compared to other ones that don't see as much sunlight per year. Uh, and this graph here, uh, figure 2.11, uh, shows a increase and a future increase of utility and residential and non-residential uh, forecast for the installations of uh, renewable energy using PV installation or photovoltaic installations to be specific. Another trend that we found was that Ted Turner in a major solar panel industry acquired a plant in Nevada which will provide power for 42 million people in the southwest. This graph shows the potential for solar panels in the southwest. As you can see, it's mainly clustered around California, Nevada, and the four corner states. Another trend that we found was that silicone prices are dropping considerably, and prices of solar panels have decreased dramatically. 
industry profit margin has plummeted, but there's still potential for high profit due to increasing demand. Our next slide consists of major competitors. There's two major companies in the U.S., including Solar World AG, which consists of 2,500 employees and 833.6 million in total revenue from 2013. And the next company is First Solar Inc., which has 6,500 employees with 3.4 billion in revenue in 2012. And there's fierce competition from companies in China, Germany, and other countries. And the next slide includes market segmentation. Almost 50% of the segmentation is the production of crystalline silicone panels, and 33% is the production of thin film panels. This can be seen on the graph to the right, which was found from IBIS World Solar Panel Manufacturing. Going through our research, we found many trends and many things that we can also be better at when we're compared to other companies in the United States. So we have compiled a list of things to do, and you can use our research and judgment to enter the industry the correct way. Um, aggressively head toward tax incentives to maximize profit. Since there's tons of tax incentives out there, it's very important to do as much as we can to maximize profit by going towards those. And as evident through the entire PowerPoint, it was shown that major solar energy comes from the southwest United States, so that's where we're going to want to build a majority of our plants to capture the most energy possible. Um, we want, also want to expand areas where solar power is not as popular, but it's still possible. These are areas where there's not many companies yet, but there's still a potential for a lot of solar energy and a lot of profit as well. You want to capitalize on the growing trend of alternative energy in the United States. Uh, for the last, I don't know how many years now, but it seems like we're heading in the direction of using greener energy, and this is the perfect way to do it. And also, since we're a United States company, we're going to want to push for consumers to use United States-made products instead of foreign-made products, which has been the struggle of the United States companies for many years, and it's continued to be that way. After our research, we have decided to have a recommendation for you. As a group, we recommend that you enter the industry because of the increase in demand for solar energy. We also decided that you should merge with another company because competition is very fierce, and a lot of other companies have already had a head start and have uh, grown even globally at this point. So merging with another company would be your best option. But be cautious of decreasing rate of revenue. We saw in our research that revenue has decreased, but we expect that uh, to flip around and increase uh, due to future charts and graphs we had mentioned in the PowerPoint. And the, there is tax advantage and incentives uh, and grants also if you decide to merge with another company. Uh, Tax advantage and incentives could be one reason why you want to merge with another company and enter the industry. But be aware of competition in other countries uh, because some countries overseas, like in Germany and China and Canada, uh, all have a lot of increased profitability, and you want to make sure that your company stands out from another one if you decide to start your own. But we suggest you merge with one because it would be easier. These are our works cited, and if you want to go and browse through and make sure all of the research you want to see matches up or extended research, you can click these links and look these sources up for your own personal gain.